Okay, this is setting up a Mega Raid documentation. Um, we're going to do Raid 6 with 5 drives, 1 terabyte each. First thing you want to do is go to Configuration Wizard. You're going to want to do a new configuration. Um, click Next. Uh, it's going to ask if you want to clear the configuration. Just say Yes. Uh, manual configuration. So what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and I'm going to have to actually move this. I'm going to have to select all the um, drives here to add to the array. So you can just add array, uh, each one. You can also use the select button to do that, but I'm using both hands. And once you have all five into the drive groups, add it into the array. And you could select encryption if you want or control or define power save mode. It's probably, this is definitely the recommended setting. Um, accept the drive groups, accept DG, and you'll see all five show up, and you're going to want to hit next. Now, um, you're into the point where you're going to be adding the array with free space into the span so add the entire single group uh, into your span hit next now you'll notice this is for people who are making multiple drives because at this point you can just make um, raid 6 drives up to 2 terabytes and they'll be recognized under VMware um, this is actually a little bigger so you probably want to split it up into 2 I'm going to be actually doing 4 of these right now um, two of them are going to be, uh, you know, I'd like to make all the data stores um, equal in size because the data stores later you can split into whatever size you want. You can combine two or one. Um, I have a unique situation where since this is a smaller server, um, I'm going to make two one terabyte uh, virtual drives here. So because two of my servers are going to be, one's going to be SQL and one is going to be a file server while the other ones are just going to be world servers and not doing as much, they won't need as much space. So by doing this you're going to see um, the 2.725 terabyte RAID 6 shrink after I accept this and hit yes. You'll notice now we have one virtual drive over here and it's going to say press the back button to add another virtual drive so we hit back. Now you'll notice the arrayed drive group hole has shrank um, minus the one terabyte we've added. So you're just going to add the same array to the span and you're going to hit next again. And again, in my unique situation, I have the fortune of Billy where I'm just going to be adding another single terabyte and hitting next. Now, if you were building this um, and you had multiple drives, um, Wait, if you're building this and you had multiple drives, uh, you would have to do these all in under two terabytes because anything more than that um, wouldn't be recognized by VMware. So back to where we were, I got off track. You're gonna again add the group to the span and hit next, and it'll say RAID six. You're gonna do a one terabyte partition here, and you're gonna accept that to create your second virtual drive and just say yes on this the right bet right through so you have now two virtual drives and I still need to make two more um, I have 743 gigs uh, that I need to break apart so that's some quick math 350 371 ish so we'll just go add this to the span so I want these two to be relatively around the same size so next Again, with the math, I figured that was about 372. Uh, no, there we go. And we're going to accept that, which will add my third, or virtual drive two, which is, you know, my third virtual drive. And we'll go back for the final remainder of the space, which is 371.172. It's pretty close. Um, we're going to add that final part to the span. Hit next. 
and you can always see what you have remaining over here and the possible raid levels you can do if you're doing raid 50 or raid 60 or something crazy depending on your controller um, those are your options 371.172 and we will accept that final one Hit yes and now we have all four virtual drives ready to go all space available has been taken accept it it's going to ask you want to save it it's going to ask you're going to lose all your spooky stuff on here you're going to say yes again and then it's going to start the optimal initialization process which is really quick um, set the boot drive to the first or whichever one in my case is the virtual drive zero is going to be my boot drive that's where you're going to hold your VMware install it's going to take a partial little cut of that whichever one you select um, so I'm going to just because you know it's it seems more smart to put it on the first zero drive it, it, it's not totally logical because it's not necessary but for me I'll always remember that so go right there and right now we're optimal so we can go back and there we go we have the four virtual drives that we are needing again if you were using much more drives like I have one the first one I did was 24 drives um, or 12 drives 2 gig 2 terabytes each so I had 24 terabytes to work with I still could not cross over the virtual drive of size of 2 terabytes because if you did that then uh, VMware would not recognize that so but when you go into VMware um, you can actually uh, make the drives bigger I have a 12 terabyte uh, file server share out of those that I created and VMware will accommodate that um, with the LUN configuration through that but when you're doing the Mega Raid BIOS in order for it to be even understood by VMware all your virtual drives have to be two terabytes or less um, for RAID 6 or actually for any RAID setup even if it's zero um, if you're going VMware afterwards so with this configuration with five uh, drives as you see under the back plane zero one two three four we've combined them to create four virtual drives that are RAID 6 protected um, uh, two of them at one terabyte two of them at about 372 gigabytes and uh, that provides a double redundancy and that's off of five uh, one terabyte drives um, pretty good uh, what we're gonna do now is um, reboot and we're gonna reboot to vSphere we're gonna install vSphere and then uh, after vSphere you connect through VMware and you're good to go. Uh, hopefully that helps.